what goes on, people. It's POW the producer. POW. With the Geeks Music Group TV. So today we're going to talk about how to set up the Reason Rack plugin inside of FL Studio 20. Let's get it. Okay, so basically everybody's stuff should be kind of the same. If you ran the default setup when you installed Reason, it should have gone to this location. It would be your C drive, program file, propeller head, and then you'll see Reason 11 inside there. Okay, so now that we're in this file, the extension that's highlighted is called hidlib.dll. We're going to right click on that. We're going to hit copy. I've already done this step, so I'm not going to do it, but just hit copy. And then we'll move to the next step. Okay, so we're going back to um, the Windows C drive. Um, we're going back into the program files. We're going to go down to common files. Scroll all the way down to where you see VST3. Right click and then you'll hit paste. Um, I'm not going to do that only because as you can see, mines is actually there. Then we're going to go into FL Studio. Okay, now that we're in FL Studio, we're going to, on this little uh, X here, it's highlighted. We're going to hit that. More plugins. We go down to Manage Plugins. And then you are going to hit the Find Plugins. And it'll scan, 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 let it scan all the way through until it's totally complete. And then you will see at the very end Reason Rack Plugin, Reason Rack Plugin Effect. All good. Okay, also, I'm only showing this because when I went to scan it initially, it just wouldn't read. It, it just wasn't showing up. So that was my workaround. It may just work for you, but I did it this way only because it wasn't working for me. Um, hope this helps. Peace.